Trigger Pressure, a presentation by Sarah Price. Trigger Pressure, now where do we begin? Trigger Pressure, by dictionary definition, is the pressure exerted on a plant cell wall by water passing into the cell by osmosis. Another name for it is hydrostatic pressure. You may be wondering, how do plants control their own hydrostatic pressure? Well, to give you the easy answer, the structure of the plant vacuole is directly related to its ability to control its own trigger pressure. This is because any cell's vacuole holds a large percentage of the cell's water. The picture on the left is a plant that has low trigger pressure. It is a sad plant. The image on the right, however, is very healthy and has a large amount of trigger pressure. If you observe both pictures, you can see that the sad plant has dirty water, while the happy plant has clean water. This is a determining factor for the plants. If you were paying attention to the pictures of the video, you probably would have noticed that many of the test subjects just so happened to be celery. Why is this, you ask? Well, celery is not only a very common leafy green, but it also shows results of trigger pressure quickly and obviously. By this, I mean that the celery will show results such as lighter color and slight withering in a short period of time. And when I say short period of time, I don't mean two minutes. If we were to say, put the celery in 15% salt water, the plant would show hydrostatic pressure by withering. Okay, let's review. Trigger pressure is the pressure exerted on a plant cell wall by water passing into the cell by osmosis. It can also be called hydrostatic pressure. When a plant has enough water and is healthy, it will have a high level of trigger pressure. If the plant happens to not have enough water to sustain it or it is not healthy, the plant will shrivel up due to the low level of trigger pressure. The structure of the plant vacuole in the plant cell is related to its ability to control its own hydrostatic pressure. This is because water is stored inside of the vacuole of plant cells.